health is often regarded as the best stat in Rise of Kingdoms. Today we are going to be talking about why that is exactly and the math behind how health works, how defense works, and how attacks work in Rise of Kingdoms. If you guys are new here, I am Gaines Gaming. I have been making Rise of Kingdoms content for over a year now, and today I wanted to explain why you should really be prioritizing health and not just saying like, oh yeah, craft health equipment, that's the best thing to do. I want to explain why you should be crafting health equipment and not prioritizing defense or attack as much. And so the first thing I want to explain here, I will pop open a report here right now. So this is Marauder and Cam, we are in pre-KVK stage three. So if we go to the battle log, the way attacks work, and the reason why health is so important, is because the way attacks work is that the damage dealt by attack is then subtracted by defense times health. And so that's one thing that you really want to understand when it comes to attacking. So for example here, in this battle report, you can see our side has 630,000 units, their side has 1 million. You can see our troop units, we lose 1,726. They lose 9,546. So we can take a look here at the attacks. And so you can see right here, our side attacked Calvin, lost 4,773 units. So this was attacking after accounting for the defense and health that the enemy had. So if we then go over to the troop buffs, we can see that they have siege in the Mara encampments. I don't know if you guys knew that, but typically barbarian forts have siege as their defense and so you can see their defense and health is both at 65 percent whereas ours if you look we are using cavalry because we're using minamoto and nevsky we have 144.2 percent cav defense and 65 percent cav health so we have a pretty big discrepancy between our defense and our health versus the barbarian fort has 65 percent of both and so if you do the math here, since I said before, the damage taken is subtracted by your defense times your health. So for example, the Barbarian Fort has 65% defense and 65% health. So if you multiply 65 times 65, that equals 4,225. Whereas if you go over to our Cav defense and our Cav health, you can see 144.2% times 65% comes out to 9,373. Versus if you were to even these out, if you were to take the average of the two, so if you do 144.2 plus 65%, and then you divide that by two, that equals 104.6. So then if you multiply that by 104.6, so if you had calf defense and calf health the same, so if you prioritize more health than defense, you would have 10,941. So you can see it is a pretty big difference between prioritizing health and prioritizing defense. If you have more defense and you have health, you are actually going to get less bang for your buck than if you were to try to equalize your health and your defense. And so cavalry is actually a very health oriented unit. You can see this player probably does not have the legendary set for cavalry because they have a lot more defense. And so if we go over to my set here for cavalry, you can see I have mostly of the hellish wasteland set. So I have four out of the six. So I have the helmet, which gives defense, but then I also have the chest piece that gives health. I have the boots that give health, I have Navarre's control that gives health, and then I also have the weapon that gives attack. And so if I look at the total amount of stats that I get from this equipment, you can see I have 37% cav health and 11% cav defense. And so the reason why this is so important is because a lot of your stats and your technology is going to give you defense and not a lot of health. And so that's really one reason why you want to prioritize equipment. So for example, this is giving you defense, so you get 10% cav defense here, but if you look at everything else, like this gives you 15% defense and 50% health, but as you keep going, you get another 20% defense here. And then you keep going, you get 25% health and 25% defense. So you can see you are still getting some health, but you're getting mostly defense in the technology. And so if you're prioritizing more defense in your equipment, you're going to get a lot less bang for your buck to actually preserving your health on the field. Because if you are crafting a ton of have defense or just defense in general you are going to have a lot less health relative to your defense and so like if i look at my infantry set because infantry is much more defensive oriented if i look over here you can see my infantry defense is 38 percent versus the health is 10 and a half percent so that's really one reason why i keep the crux humility for that 10 and a half percent infantry health if i switch that over to the legendary eternal empire I would be getting more overall stats, especially if you special talented. So for example, 12% special talented would give you even more. So a lot of people think, oh, it's giving me more stats, so I should craft it. 
but at the same time, you are losing health and you are gaining defense. And so relative to that, if you take the amount of infantry health that I have relative to defense, I have 38% infantry defense. If I add 12% of that, that gives me 50 versus I would lose my 10 and a half health. And so total, that would actually make me lose stats. And if you take another example here, if you take archer equipment, for example, this one is obviously a lot more defensive oriented, but you still have the opportunity to get health. And so for example, the flame tread boots are really good because that gives you seven and a half percent health. The dragon's breath plate gives you 11% health. And so a lot of the arrival equipment either gives you defense or attack. Whereas the dragon's breath plate gives you health and attack. And even with the set bonuses, you get an additional 3% attack and 3% skill damage. Or if you get all six, you get archer health, which is really, really good. But if you look at the total amount of stats, you can see 37% archer defense and 18.5% archer health. So this is a much more balanced set of getting that extra archer health as opposed to getting more of that archer defense. And so doing this make sure that you are a much more balanced player and so you're actually better off going pretty much all in on health rather than focusing on getting more defense because for example here with my cavalry i have 37 percent cav health and 11 percent cav defense this does look very low considering i have more than three times the health of defense on this set but the reason why that's so good is because like i said before the technology balances it out so you get more cav defense in the technology and you don't get much cav health and so this balances out to make it really really good and that's why i haven't gone away from the gladiator piece because this gives me an extra 10 and percent cav health because if you craft the legendary piece it is actually going to give you cav attack and so if you go over here and you go into the sets you can see with the hellish wasteland set i can craft this but i really don't want to because i really don't want to lose that health i don't want to switch it out for attack and the only way it would be worth it is if you were actually going for the full six set piece to get an additional five percent cav defense however like i said you would be losing a lot of health because you would also give up navarre's control to get seven and a half percent cav defense and so then you lose your navarre's control health you lose the the health from your legs and you switch it out for attack and defense so overall you actually make your troops even less tanky because you're switching out a lot more health for defense which in turn actually gives you less stats of overall health and so i hope this really made sense for you guys to really prioritize the health on your marches not just me telling you prioritize health but actually showing you the examples as to why you should prioritize health because that's really what i want to do in this video is explain to you the numbers behind why you should be prioritizing health and not just telling you straightforward like oh yeah get more health that's that's the best uh, but actually helping explain to you guys why you should be going for health because that's one thing that i was always confused of is why why is health the best stat like i can get a lot more stats on defense um, but actually knowing how the attacks actually take place is multiplying your defense by your health it makes a lot more sense because mathematically if you have two higher numbers so for example if you have two numbers that are 50 and 50 versus one number that is 75 and 25 you're going to get a lot more value from the 50 and 50 than you are from 75 and 25 like i said at the beginning of the video because 50 times 50 equals 2500 but 75 times 25 equals 1875 so you're actually losing a lot of value there you're losing 625 total basis points when you are switching out more defense rather than more health so making them as even as possible is really the way to go to make sure you're getting the best value on the field and staying on the field as long as possible if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more mathematical content like this let me know down below in the comments and make sure you guys throw a like on here that is really the best way to make sure i know you guys actually enjoy the video and want more videos like this so once again, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.